Good morning, Vlogmas Day 15. I uh had to wash my hair today, so it has to dry naturally now, and I'm a tiger. Uh, but yeah, no, other than being a tiger this morning, we're gonna make Tamago Kake Gohan, which literally means eggs for a kake and rice, and it's uh, my one of my favorite breakfast dishes, and uh, it's pretty easy to make and very nice. So I woke up and made rice and went back to sleep. So the rice is ready for me for breakfast. It's great, it's brilliant. The hair is in my face. Uh, so I will be using the rice that is already ready and honestly, we're having uh, bulgogi uh, slash Korean barbecue style food tonight. So I made a bunch of rice and we're just gonna leave it on the worm all day today. So it's cool. It's cool. Uh, and yeah, so this is what you'll need to make Tango Kake Gohan rice uh, for a kake seasoning. I'm using the salmon one. I have an egg one, but um, I, I'm using egg in it. So that would be silly to do egg on egg. I like a little bit of sesame seed oil in mine, uh, obviously soy sauce. And I like a little bit of spice to mine, but that's not everybody, so you do you. doing a shopping trip. We're gonna go buy Christmas presents. I don't think anyone we're buying for today watches this, but it's your fault if you keep watching, so you know. So we're gonna go to Target, and we're also gonna get some stuff to make a lot of noise, um, and we're gonna get some stuff to make some pizza dough for dinner, not today, not tomorrow, not the next day, but three days away! But we're gonna make the dough tonight. But we're gonna make the dough tonight. Make pizza. Mm. Good news. I It looks like I got enough stamps to get a free drink. So, I'm gonna go do that. So here's the Holly Jolly. It's peppermint. I think the only thing that's throwing me off is that these are strawberry, I think, and these are apple, and so like strawberry peppermint and apple peppermint are a little bit strange, but overall it's pretty good. festive. I'm not a fan of green apple on a whole, but it's pretty, it's pretty good jello. Jellies. So I only have one more of the seasonal drinks to try and it's a toasty snowman and they don't do it to go so we're gonna have to like go on a date or something. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. These are the cutest figures. I don't have like a favorite or anything. But they are so cute. He might be my favorite. Oh man. Do you have a bunny one? <gasps> Precious. We're back. Wow, that was overwhelming. I don't know where I thought that physical shopping was a good idea, but I thought we could get it over with. And we only got presents for like two out of five people. So it's fine. Um, got this sweet evolution esque Lego kit for a small one in the family. A Minecraft Lego kit for another small one in the family. Um, and then I bought myself a present. Churro cereal. And beer. <laughs> Uh, I, I went for the cranberry ginger shandy. It's a fantastic seasonal, so I'm going to be sipping on that this evening because, because I'm gonna roll and I can. What about you, Siv? You gonna have some dog food today? Yeah? You gonna have some dog food? We are going to measure our ingredients using the scale because 
This is way more accurate than a cup will ever be. And then the recipe says it prefers bread flour, but I need 500 grams of it and there's no way that's what's left in here. So we'll use mostly bread flour and then we'll switch to all-purpose flour. Uh, the beauty is you can just mix it into your bowl. So, eh, maybe it is. We need 16 grams of sea salt, which we don't have. So please welcome to the party, regular salt. And we're going to add two teaspoons or 16 grams. So let's try it both ways to see what happens. Yeah, that, that registered as three grams. That's a little nerve wracking. But maybe, like, maybe that's actually a teaspoon. Yeah, I think that's what's happening. Ten, twelve, thirteen. This feels like a lot. I do like a salty pizza crust. It's gonna be fine. Fifteen. Sixteen. And then we just need one gram of yeast and then 350 grams of water. It's a teeny tiny measurement. Of yeast? Of yeast. Nice. A little bit of active dry yeast, never hurt nobody. Nope. It didn't register as a gram. I thought you said it had to be a okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Whew, that was slow. Alright. A little bit of a mixy. Mmm. Must not make big mess. Just a little mess. D-roll. 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 Don't touch for 24 hours. It's literally how easy it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. How long do you think it'll be till you get hungry for dinner? Mm. For me, uh, maybe like an hour or two. Is that okay? Yeah. Tight. We done? Because cooking is the only thing I've got planned today. Alright, I got two good episodes two good episodes. I got two good hours of Pokemon Sword in. I'm very excited and I've started to cook our chicken bulgogi. For some reason it's like extra poppy, so I just have the lid on for security and honestly just steam cook it a little bit. It should retain some of the moisture. Um I don't know that I explained this super well, but we I just showed it in the last vlog. So I'm making chicken bulgogi, which is just chicken with bulgogi sauce with the commercially bought bulgogi sauce. So it's it's literally just this guy. And then I handmade the bulgogi marinade for the beef. So I'm making the chicken first. Um, I made the spicy cucumbers yesterday to go with the whole thing. So they're in this container and I got some kimchi and then uh, rice. So should have a whole dinner here and Probably about 15 minutes. Mm. We're grilling some of the beef ribs. You can see where the marinade was inconsistent. I really should have rotated it more because you've got dark, dark, right? <laughs> but uh, I was just nervous that it would spill out of the fridge container, so I didn't. Um, nothing you can really do about that now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm done cooking everything. I just want to so I inherited from my grandma this cast iron skillet. I want to brag on it a little bit. Like we just cooked barbecue in it and it cleaned itself. Like I was able to just basically rub out all of the burnt stuff. So yeah, this is going to be dinner. So I and my bowl have kimchi, the spicy cucumbers we made yesterday and some rice. We've got the beef that we did in the homemade marinade and the chicken that we made in the regular marinade and some lettuce wraps. And then there's Sheremai's plain bowl of rice. <laughs> I like what I like. I'm not gonna apologize. Okay, I made myself a little lettuce wrap. It's just a little bit chicken, a little bit of rice. I'm gonna eat it like a taco.
I'm not mad at this robot marinade. Very good. The chicken's pretty thickly cut. Um, so I think that that affected its ability to absorb. You can still see it's white in the middle, so it didn't quite permeate all the way through. Could have stood to be marinated a little bit longer, but pretty good, pretty good little snacky. We're gonna do the beef the same way and the lettuce wrap to dry it. Please marinade skills, let it have worked. The piece of beef I chose was a little bit fatty and I don't know that the flavor is there. Did I mess up the marinade? I don't think so, I like it. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm not even having trouble with the bones. Hmm. Well, it's not bad. It's not up to my standards. So we'll try again one day. Probably not for Vlogmas because that's a lot of. We've eaten a lot of Asian food, so we've got to sort that out. Um. The therapist calls that unpacking. <laughs> oh, I gotta unpack that. Why do I eat so much Asian food? Probably because I like it. Uh, yep. Yeah. And so I'm gonna finish the rest of this, and I'm gonna go and edit in a food coma so thank you so much for watching vlogmas day 15 it's been a blast i will not cook tomorrow i promise we'll do something else uh that's a lie i'm making smoothies tomorrow but that's <laughs> not cooking that's just what i'm gonna have for breakfast um but yeah thanks so much for hanging out really appreciate it and i will catch you tomorrow Bye.